About a year ago, we made a video of an upcoming change to Chrome OS. It was Chrome OS 70. It was in the developer mode at the time, but we made a video about this change and it was a massive overhaul to the tablet UI for Chrome OS. And that version of the operating system was actually what shipped with the Pixel Slate later on in that year. And though that device was met with subpar reviews in general, this change to the overall operating system was something that Google has continued to work on over the course of the last year. In that same period of time, Google also decided to stop making tablets, which has prompted people to ask, is Google done just messing with tablet operating systems? Are they done really developing Chrome OS as a tablet operating system? And there's a change that's coming in Chrome OS 78 that we wanna show you today that hopefully proves the point to most people that Google is not done working on tablet mode. Before we dive in, this video is brought to you by NordVPN, and they're the VPN of choice for millions of consumers because they're awesome at what they do, keeping your browsing secure while you're at home or on the go. If you'd like to learn more about them, go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN to learn more today. Okay, so nothing looks out of the ordinary here. We're in Chrome OS 78 in dev mode. So eventually once 78 makes it down to stable, you'll see this uh, 77 should be rolling out very soon. So six to eight weeks, we'll say this should be in stable mode. But here's what I wanna show you. This is doesn't look out of the ordinary. Same thing, you pull down and we go into multitasking. None of this looks strange or odd. This is the same stuff we've seen, except now you see the layout here. We only see six apps. Well, I have multiple things open as you can see down here. And so when I go into this mode, instead of seeing all of them crammed onto the screen and, and trying to you know force and render all of those every single time I move in and out of overview mode, we only see six. All the rest of the apps I have open are virtually sitting off to the side of the screen and now we have this nice scroll that we can move through, eh, a la iPad, honestly. This is kind of the way the iPad works in iOS. So again, we can go down, we can go to split screen, and again, same thing occurs here. It's a very nice way to move through all of your open screens without Chrome OS having to continue to render everything that's off the screen. Say you have 15 apps open, instead of it having to graphically render all of them, all it has to do is render these. And the same thing happens as we kind of move into different sizes of the split screen. It doesn't have to change any of this over here because now you can scroll through these things. The same thing is true when we go into this mode. If we go here, now we have six, six by six, same way here. So now if we go split screen, this is still a little finicky, it actually will resize this, if you can see that. It's a very nice graphical touch in the way that Chrome OS is laying out these windows now. And the, the whole point being here, Google is not just satisfied with sitting in neutral and going, well, this is what tablet mode is and just go for it. Clearly, they are still developing tablet mode. Clearly, they want split screen to be a good experience. Clearly, they are thinking through different ways to move the UI forward. And this is a very, very big step forward for Chrome OS's tablet UI. And it's gonna hopefully, once it's fully you know, put into the operating system and cleaned up completely, it should help a lot of these things with some of these older Chromebooks. So you can see a little bit of the jank there as, as we go into the overview mode. Some of that should clean up because now the operating system doesn't have to think about rendering all of this stuff all at once. It can just do this for right now. And as I'm going through, start to render stuff as it brings it into view. And so overall, not only is this a better way to lay out the tablet overview mode, it's a better way for them to conserve resources for devices that don't have nearly as much power or are getting older or getting on in age. But guys, that's it. We just wanted to show you uh, that Google is not done with tablets. They are continuing to move forward. They're continuing to update the OS and even to the point of making some pretty big UI changes when it comes to tablet mode. Because this whole thing that we just showed you does not exist in desktop mode. And I don't think it's going to. So desktop overview still looks just like it did. So this is just for tablets. Google is not giving up on tablets. They're not giving up on Chrome OS tablets. They may not be making the hardware anymore, but they are continuing to develop the software. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and make sure and hit the notification bell if you wanna be updated when we make new videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.